Welcome back to Minima Momento. Today I'm going to show you how I build this rental friendly bathroom vanity. After measuring the available space around the sink, I started off by cutting the sides, the top and the door for the vanity. The quality of the delivered plywood is really poor, unfortunately is not much I could do to make it look better. There were some water and wastage pipes that I had to make space for on both sides of the vanity, I measured and mirrored these to the wood. Back in the shop I was able to draw properly and make these cuts using my jigsaw. Then I double checked if both sides were fitting well, not pressing any of those pipes. I measured the pedestal and I mirrored it to the top of the vanity and once again I cut it out with my jigsaw. I drilled pocket holes into the sides and made sure that these holes are on the inside of the vanity. Then I decided to drill the holes for the cabinet hinges. I've used this very simple but useful jig, link will be in the description below. At this point I sanded everything with 80, 180 and lastly 320 grit sandpaper. I screwed the sides to the top and I measured the distance between the two sides. I used the white painted plywood we already had to make the bottom and the shelf of the vanity. The easiest and fastest solution here I found was to use brackets. I used my long clamps to hold them together while I put the screws in. After a quick double check I removed the shelf and bottom piece and I mirrored the area I need to cut out for the pedestal. Off camera I cut 20 pieces of half dowels and some trim wood to give the door a nice modern look. I applied a coat of light oak wood stain to all of the wood except from the white ones. I used the fiber clothes to give them only a very thin coat so they won't get too dark. On one of the trims I installed the cabinet handle. Then using a wood glue I started the decoration on the door. I glued one side and the bottom part first for a reference. I made sure that these two pieces are in 90 degrees with the help of my speed square. I clamped these two very well so they won't move away while I glue the rest.
For the last piece that has the handle on, I used my countersink drill bit to make a hole underneath the screws. While I was waiting for the glue to set, I decided to put the edge banding on. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to cover all of the edges, but I will definitely get some more and finish them soon. Installing edge banding was very simple, this was my first time to do one and I had no trouble with it. You just need to make sure to have an iron and a cutter to finish them. Link will be also in the description below. All I had to do now is to put everything together and place it into the bathroom. This vanity doesn't require any holes in the wall, completely rental friendly and you can remove anytime you like, probably will fit under any standard sink. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to get notified when we upload the next one. We upload new videos every Saturday. Please like and share our videos to help the channel grow. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram.